Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the bouncing ball here in Adobe Animate. And we're going to do it frame by frame, hand drawn frame by frame. What I mean by hand drawn is we're going to draw a sketch layer. Let me go ahead and pause this. Pause. And I'm going to hide this ball. And I'm going to show you the sketch layer so that you can see the sketch layer. And it's very, very faint. But if I select it, I can crank up the alpha so you can see it. And so if I hit play now, you'll see this hand drawn little ball frame by frame. And then we did a copy and paste frame by frame ball right on top. And we use this as a template. We're going to touch on a lot of things, some drawing tools, the timeline keyframes, empty keyframes, and even the properties box a little. We are going to cover layers, the visibility, the lock, and the arrangement. We're going to do a background, like the floor and the wall, a guides layer. Here it is. Uh, a sketch layer, and then finally, the ball layer. So, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to uh, go ahead and save this and start up a new one, new. And I'm going to do full HD 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. I'm going to zoom out, hold down the command with the scroll wheel. You can zoom out or you could do command zero. And let's go ahead and get started. I have a layer. I have one layer on. My workspace is the basic workspace there it is this is untitled 2 you can see that i have the other one i haven't closed it it's still open and i can go back and forth from this project file to this one and so the first thing i'd like to do is let's go ahead and create that guides layer i am going to click on the line tool to create a line and I'm going to click on the, um, you'll see two little boxes. One is the fill and one is the stroke. And you can see the stroke here. Click on it. It's in front of this other box. And so I'm going to click on red, red stroke. And since I have the line selected in the properties window up here, I can see that it's red. I can see the stroke size is eight. And I can type in any number. I could uh, test it. I'll just leave it at 8. Or you can do the slider also. Just leave it at 8. Uh, the style is solid. And the scale is normal. So let's go ahead and, and put this at about a quarter way down. Click and drag, and you can see that you're, I'm dragging the mouse, and then I'm going to hold the shift so that it draws horizontally to there. That's my floor, my floor and my wall. And then I'm going to select the brush tool so that I can start drawing. And since I have the brush tool selected, here is the properties. I'm going to click here and get a red and then I'm going to the size I'm going to leave it at seven you can see that uh, what happens there uh, but I'm going to just click here and click seven you can drag it zoom size to stage keep it on and then I can start drawing great I am going to use my tablet to draw because it's easier to draw uh, with a pen so I'm using my tablet uh, from here on just to draw this ball. And so we're going to start the ball right about here. Remember, this is a guides layer. In fact, we can uh, rename it to guide and uh, continue drawing. All right, so there's our ball. The ball is going to come in and hit the floor right about here. And then it's going to bounce and hit the floor right about here and it's going to bounce off stage 
right about there. That's our guide. That is the timing that we're going to get. This is the guides that we're going to use to create our animation. So I am going to create a new layer down here in the layers panel. Hit the little plus to create a new layer and this will be our sketch layer. Sketch layer. If I click on my guides layer, in the properties, I'll have the guides layer here. And if you scroll down the properties, here's the sound. What I'm looking for is this color effects. Um, open this window up and go to alpha. And that will allow us to adjust the opacity. And I'm gonna take it all the way down to where I just barely see it. Now I'll go back to the sketch layer. We can lock this one now. Go back to the sketch layer and we can start sketching. We're gonna do this in about two seconds at 24 frames per second. That's about, about 50 frames. So in the guides layer, I'm gonna click frame 50. Right click on my mouse, insert a frame. And what that does, it's going to extend this one all the way to the end. Now I have my guides all the way through the entire animation, all the way to frame 50. If I'm gonna do something here in the sketch, in fact, I'll sketch something out right now. And I'm gonna sketch the ball right here, just a sketch. You will see that once I go to frame two, it disappears because this is empty. These are empty frames. There is nothing on these frames. There isn't even a frame. In this layer, there are no frames, while in the guides layer, there's 50 frames. And that guide appears on every single frame all the way up to 50. What I wanna do is I'm gonna select all of these frames, click on frame two, and then hold down the shift and click on frame 50 to select all these empty frames and right click on the timeline convert to blank keyframes. We're gonna convert all these empty frames to blank keyframes. And what that does, guys, it puts a keyframe, but it's blank, nothing is in there. And so that helps us so that when we go to this one, there's already a blank keyframe and we can start drawing here. Frame one has this ball and frame Two has nothing. Now, since we have our guide, we can time this out. How long does it take for this ball to hit the ground, bounce back up, and then hit the ground again, bounce back up again? About two seconds, but let's say uh, so that we can divide it up. Let's say 40 frames. Let's say this takes 10, this takes about 20, and this takes 10. All right, so at frame 10, we can draw the ball here at the bottom and we're gonna apply squash and stretch. That means it hit the ground and kinda squashed and stretched into the down position. At frame 20, it's going to go up here at the, at the highest level, right there. At frame 30, it'll be here again all squashed and then at frame 40 it'll be here at the highest level so 40 30 20 10 1 so we just timed it up 10 frames 10 frames 10 frames 10 frames 10 20 30 40 and here they are so we can use the timeline and we can use the sketch layer to time things out. I'd say it takes about three frames to hit the floor. So we're going to draw this and we're going to time it out. We could actually start here and we're going to turn on onion skinning. This is onion skinning right here. What onion skinning is, it shows you the before and the after frame. And in this case, if you look at here at the, at the timeline, 
it's going to show us two frames before and two frames after. But since we don't have anything turned on, I mean, we don't have anything drawn out. It's just showing us the frame we're on. So let's go to frame nine. And we're going to draw frame nine, which would be the ball coming in very, very stretched at frame nine. At frame eight, the ball again, kind of stretched. At frame seven, the ball is a little stretched, not that much. At frame six, I think the ball regains its uh, um, shape. Frame five, the ball is traveling down. Frame four, frame three, and then frame two. Here we go. So if we if we run by it. You can see that, and then we can adjust these guys. Look, uh, frame two, if I want to do, I'm going to get the selection um, tool, and then I'm going to move it over a little bit. Frame three, I'm going to move it over a little bit, because what I want to do is close up the distance here, since it's moving slower. The more frames, the closer they are, the slower the movement. So frame four, I'm gonna move it over. Frame five, a little bit. Frame six, start to normalize it. Seven, and then eight, nine, and 10 are fine. Uh, well, I'm gonna continue working on this, guys. And I'm gonna draw the frames. It's the same process as here up to frame 20. From here, in fact, I'll do this one, number 11. At 10, it's down here squashed. At 11, I'm gonna draw it right here. Now it's squashed up again. Frame 12, here, just less stretched. Frame 13, a little less stretched and so on and so forth. Hey guys, I'm gonna draw the entire thing. I'm gonna speed up the video because it's more of the same thing and I'll see you at the other end. And that is it, guys. I'm gonna turn off onion skinning right here and hit play. Um, notice that it just played and stopped. So we're gonna turn on the loop action. This loop will loop the animation. And if I hit play, you'll see that it only loops right there because that's the, the blue area. I'm gonna grab the beginning part and stretch it out all the way to the beginning and hit play again. It'll loop the entire animation. And there it is. You can see the ball is going and, and stretching, squash, right there. Bloop, bloop, and then that's awesome. And so at this point, we can start animating. This is only the sketch layer and the guides layer. And we can go ahead and start animating now. I'm going to hit stop. Let's create the background layer. Background. We're going to draw a background, but it's not going to be complicated. It's just the floor and the wall. So I am going to select my rectangle tool. I am going to click on the stroke and I'm going to select a, a black stroke. Click on the fill and I'm going to select kind of a beige color. Uh, I'm okay with that one. And then I'm going to draw it right there. That's my ground or my floor. And then I'm going to get, um, I'm gonna change the color here to a light blue, maybe that one. I'm gonna draw the wall right there. Here we go, boom. There's my background. Now notice that my background 
it filled up the entire timeline, my background. So that's awesome. But now I can't see my sketch layer. So I need to drag my sketch layer up in front of the background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone down, lower the opacity on my sketch layer. So right here in the properties, select my sketch layer and then go to color effects. Here, color effects, none, and go to alpha. And it's already at 11%. I'm going to crank it up a little bit, maybe to 30 so that I can see it. And there's my sketch layer, guys. See that? That's my sketch layer. It's not too prominent. I lowered the opacity. There it is. Now we can start actually doing the actual ball. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. And this new layer will be the ball. There it is. There's nothing in this ball layer. So what we're going to do is fill it with blank keyframes. Click on that one. And shift click on the this one on number 50, the end, so that you can select all of it. Let's right click and hold and then convert to blank keyframes. That way it inserts a blank keyframe on every single one of these frames. There's nothing in there yet. So uh, let's go to the la first layer, number one, and let's create that ball. On the tools here, if you see that little triangle, that little arrow right there at the corner of this tool, if you click and hold, it will reveal more options. And we're going to uh, select the oval tool and create an oval let's go ahead and select our fill color which is red and our stroke color is still black and the stroke is still at eight okay so we're gonna select black and i'm gonna draw uh an, an oval but i'm gonna undo that i'm gonna start here and hold down the shift so that it's perfectly proportional there it is I am going to draw a little tiny highlight right there still with the oval I'm going to take away the um, stroke by selecting this little box with a slash on it that means zero I don't want a stroke and then on the red I'm going to select white I'm going to draw a tiny little highlight right there boop, right there and that's it there's our ball and so that's the start position i'm going to break the ball just a little bit smaller by holding the shift key so that i could see that the ball is about the size of the sketch move it right up to there and then we're done i'm going to copy this the whole thing it's selected you can see that it's grayed out i'm going to hit copy command c click off of it so now we can start uh, animating frame 2 has nothing command uh, paste and there it is I'm gonna move it right into place and so on and so forth place command V to paste uh, move to frame 4 command V right there move to 5 you can also do command C right there and then command shift V will place it and paste it in place so you don't have to go all the way to here uh, command V number seven command V and notice that it starts to stretch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distort it just a little bit because it's starting to and then rotate it right there all you have to do is hold your mouse just outside of that corner and you can rotate it if you hold your mouse inside the box you can move it and I can stretch it there we go so frame 8 paste and and I'm going to stretch it in just by clicking on these handles move it and then rotate frame 10 V this one's all the way stretched to there I'm gonna move it and then I'm going to rotate it 
And frame 10 is the squashed one right there. I'm gonna hit V anyways, and I'm gonna move it right in place and I'm going to stretch it, squash it and stretch it. There. 11, V, the same thing guys. And rotate. And I'm gonna continue, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to about 20 and then I'll speed up the process. This one, Command V, stretch a little less, and then rotate. If you just hold your mouse right outside that corner, you can rotate it. Click here in the inside. There we go. V, just a little bit. Right there. And then V, Command v to paste v oops i i pasted two in here so i'm going to command z to undo that advance one command v there it is oh v there advanced v there to advance a frame is the period key command v period Command V, and then I am going to go ahead and speed up the process. I'll, I'll paste them all in there and we'll see what the end result was. I think I put one, well, let's turn on onion skinning. Let's turn on onion skinning right here and then I'm gonna do that one and I'm even gonna do one last one right about there. And so here we go. Oh, here, I'm gonna turn off the sketch layer and lock it and turn off the guides layer. And this is what we have, hit uh, loop, and hit play. It's a little wobbly right here. What I'd like to do is go in there and fix it. I'm gonna to go to frame um, 19 and just start fixing these so that they're a little bit smoother. I could just rearrange quickly how they are placed. That one's fine, that one's fine. I'll go from 20 to 21. I think that one is okay. This one might need a little bit. This one definitely. And there we go guys it's done um, hey guys if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys